kitchen floor It seems like you can't take no more I'm sorry but when my engine starts I just can't get enough I'll match you up and tie you down So you'll be here, won't sneak around I'll lace you up Day and night I'm running, running for you Gotta move, don't want no ride So warm me up Cause I know the world is at my feet kitchen floor it seems like you can't take no more i'm sorry but when my engine starts i just can't get enough i'll let you up and tie you down so you'll be here won't sneak around i'll lace you up Day and night I'm running, running for you Gotta move, don't want no ride So warm me up Cause I know the world is at my feet What's going on, y'all? It is hot out here I mean, it is stifling It is burning hot I was tagged by Jason Banks Also known as Red Barbecue and Pizzeria He tagged me in a Go outside and cook challenge there's not a whole lot of challenges and tags that I've gotten that have been custom made just for me. This one is one of those types of tags. This is custom made because that's the only thing I know how to do, cook outside. The whole stove thing, I'm not very good on that thing. Inside the house, that black box that heats up, I'm not too good on that thing. But out here, this is my domain. But I'm gonna be tagging probably three, four, five, I don't know how many channels I'm gonna tag yet. I really haven't even thought about it. Stay tuned and let's get uh, into the start. And uh, I've, I've already kind of, well, actually, I've already kind of got started on it. So right there's the uh, the Dutch oven with the uh, Jamaican Jamaican jerk ribs. In fact, I'm fixing, I'm about to put on some more, some new coals. I'm about to get some new ones started here. It's right there, see? Got some right there, I'm fixing to get started. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna explain this real quick. So what I'm making is Jamaican, I made uh, some Jamaican jerk last night. I'm actually gonna link the, uh, or if I can even figure out how to do an iCard, I'm gonna link my Jamaican jerk marinade video to this video so you guys can see how I make my Jamaican jerk marinade. So I did uh, some, some back ribs with some onions, some red onions, some red peppers. Then I put, instead of using beer uh, in the bottom like I've seen some people do, I use pineapple juice. Then I lightly coated the top of those ribs with some rum. So what I'm doing here is about every 45 minutes, I'm gonna be changing out the coals and I'm gonna turn the lid about a quarter turn, about every 15 minutes, that's gonna give an even uh, temperature around the whole thing. Inside there, it's gonna be cooking right about 350 to 375. So just kind of giving you guys kind of a heads up, I'm about to get these other coals on here, get, get these, uh, these old coals off, because they're about to burn out, and put some fresh ones on there every 45 minutes. Then after three hours, I'm going to pull the lid, look and see what they're like, and I'm probably going to uh, finish searing them off on the Camp Chef griddle, but not the griddle part, the actual the grill part that's underneath the griddle. So I'm gonna sear them off on there to give a nice, uh, like kind of a nice little char on there. All right, so that's it. That's the plan. And tie it down, so you'll be here, won't sneak around. 
Okay, so I just got the new coals on there. I forgot one thing. Spin the base a quarter turn one way, then spin the lid the other way um, a quarter turn. So if you spin the lid clockwise, spin the base uh, counterclockwise. Um, so we got some new coals on there. We're good for about 45 minutes. About every 15 minutes, I'm gonna spin that lid and spin the base. I forgot to say that. So let's get back to it. So the first person I'm going to tag in this go outside and cook challenge is the person's channel whose name is go outside and cook. That's right, Ori, go outside and cook. I think this is custom made just for you, buddy. But here's the problem. I don't think he subbed to me. I don't think that he's gonna watch this video. So if y'all can do me a favor and get the word over to him that Meathead tagged him in a go outside and cook tag, I would appreciate that. Uh, the second person I'm gonna tag uh, I thought about it. I'm gonna go outside the box. I like to go outside the box all the time. Is um, Sergeant Chad Man uh, Chad Douglas Manchester? Their channel is Doug and Marie's Life. He's a, he's an Army Sergeant, and and uh, him his wife vlog, and she does like all the editing and stuff. It's a fantastic uh, channel. <sighs> Um, he took, uh, he tried my uh, picanha video, he, he went and did my uh, picanha video and he made some picanhas. Right now his, uh, his, uh, his wing is a little, a little busted up, so this would be a perfect time for him to go outside and cook something. He's got a nice grill, hey man, go outside and cook. I'll be tagging probably another channel or two here and a little bit later. Alright, so for right now, that's the two. All right, so in case you're wondering how many coals that, you're, uh, that you should use for like a 16 inch Dutch oven, 14, you know, 12, 10, and eight, I'm gonna put a picture up. And it's a picture from when I got my, uh, I got, just got a 12 inch Dutch oven from Camp Chef. And, uh, and they, they sent me a, a booklet. And it, I, was, I just took a picture of the booklet, and I'm gonna put it up, uh, pause the video, uh, take yourself a screenshot. And that's a good guideline to go by. Uh, when it comes to um, how many coals you should use on top of your Dutch oven and how many uh, uh, coals you should use underneath then also the temperatures that you're going to get. Right now I'm about two hours in and this is smelling absolutely freaking phenomenal. I'm fixing to put another uh, uh, fresh batch of coals up underneath. I'm still thinking about the other two channels that I want to um, that I want to tag. So uh, it'll probably be towards the end. I was, honestly, I haven't even given this any, really any thought. So I'm just kind of like winging it right now. So, but I just want to let y'all know that. So look at this picture. All right, so this is how I come up with my next two channels. And these are gonna be the final two channels that I'm going to tag in this. Uh, I was reading through my comment section and the first two YouTubers that I came across that's who I said I'm going to tag. So, first one's gonna be Kirby's Fish and Grill. I don't think I've ever tagged him in anything, and he's tagged me in some stuff, so I'm going to return the favor, Kirby's Fish and Grill. He's got a really nice channel over there. He's doing some really good things. Go check him out. And then also, a really small YouTuber. Uh, just getting started, the guy has like this voice that is soothing, and uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. Go over to Pickles Barbecue. So Pickles Barbecue, you are tagged to go outside and cook something. All right, so there you go. So that's four channels. I've never tagged anything before, I think. I mean, I may have tagged Kirby and something before, but as far as I can remember, I haven't. So there you go. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I'm using the 14 inch Camp Chef Dutch oven in case anybody was wondering. I don't think I actually said that. So. Uh, um, so that's it, and let's get this let's get this cook finished. We're we're two hours in. I fixed to put some new coals on. All right, so it's been two hours. I'm I'm about to put new coals on. I just want to see what it looks like inside here. I just dusted it all off. Um, as Eric over at Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue would say, I'm about to take me a sneaky peek, looky poo. So let's take ourselves a sneaky peek, looky poo here. Hey, y'all go check out. Uh, go check him out. Oh my lord. You know what? Them are just about done. Actually, I think they are done. I could probably call it two hours and get them things on the grill. Yeah, I'm going to go run inside. I'm going to grab a probe. I'm going I'm to test these things, see how tender they are. And I would just might go ahead and pull them off now. Two hours right there. And you know what? While I'm at it, you know what, Eric? I don't think I've ever tagged you in anything. So, Eric, I'm going to tag you in the go outside and cook tag challenge. So, Eric, Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue, you're officially tagged. Yeah, them are feeling. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah. 
I'm gonna give these about 15 more minutes. I'm gonna put some fresh coals on and give them about 15 more minutes, and I'm gonna put these things on the grill. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the uh, chef uh, nice and nice and hot. All right, so right now I'm getting the uh, Camp Chef FTG 600 uh, grill fired up, but this is about as close as you can get to it doing hot and fast ribs. Uh, two and a half hours, not bad. I'm just gonna put them on here probably pretty quick, get a quick little sear on them, and then we're done. This taste test time. Um, I appreciate uh, you, uh, Red Banks, uh, bar uh, Red Barbecue, um, Red Barbecue and Pizzeria, for including me in this tag. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, I've been wanting to get an excuse to use my uh, Dutch oven and uh, do something pretty unique with it. Um, I used it inside my vertical uh, smoker because it was forecasted to rain today, so I wanted to make sure if it rained that my coals weren't going to go out. Uh, so it was kind of an experiment there too, and it actually worked out really good. So I'm about to get these uh, these ribs on. Uh, so it's been two and a half hours. I mean, I'm really happy with that. So let's get uh, let's get these things on the grill. All right, I got the ribs right here. The Dutch oven by my feet right here. And the stars, I just can't get enough. I'll let you up. You know, I'm really, I'm really glad I actually checked these in uh, two hours because it, it would have gone three hours. It'd been way, 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 way too done. I mean, these are here might actually uh, fall apart. Look at that nice char on there. That's beautiful. these things up. We got a crust on there. That's a beautiful crust. All right, so I'm gonna have my son Rife Roll. That's his name on YouTube. He's gonna he's gonna have a yeah, try that rib, you know. Yeah, let's give that fantastic. There you go. This is Jamaican jerk. These are Jamaican jerk ribs. Oh, okay, hot. Okay. Hold on. Still hot. Mm. Very good. Flavor. Excellent. <laughs> Flawless. Yeah. That's really good. Hey, y'all, you can go check him out too. I'll put a link to his channel down below too. Um, road to 500 subscribers. So. On the road to 500. So. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I gotta try this. I've made a lot of ribs in my life. Those are the best. I don't say that every time, but I'm serious. Those are the best. Those are out of this world. It only took two and a half hours too. Then you sear them off, get that nice crust, boom, there you go. I'll see y'all later. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. See you guys. Ciao.